Individuals like to think great people, truly smart, intelligent people, men and women touched by grace and blessed by exceptionally keen minds are so extraordinary that they go through life with ease. Now that's not true. It's a lie. Greatness, greatness, gallantry, brilliant behavior, keen knowledge, a photographic mind, great leaders, they don't come easy. It requires that you must make sacrifices of time, interest, of possessions. The further you move towards the sun, my friends, it gets hotter. The closer you try to yourself to move towards greatness, excellence, the more greatness demands upon you. You will be tested of all ages. Throughout your life, you'll be challenged and tested and tempted in one way or another or many different fashions. You cannot hide. You cannot wrap around you uh, some cocoon of protection. You cannot carry your Bible and use it as a bat to bat away bad things. No, sir. We all will fall in our journey in life and fail occasionally in our journeys, our great adventures, yet it is through one's own personal faith, our own personal beliefs, in our mission and our own journey Seek love, forgiveness, to help pick up those who fall, and ourselves, and encourage more, and discern less, to encourage more, and gossip less, to encourage more, all who fall, and yet to love them, and let them know they are loved. Because at the heart of all our frailty is our own desire to be loved greater than we have been loved. A desire that each and every one, from the baby who cries out to his mama and had not even opened his eyes, to the person dying on the battlefield, which I have seen many, calling out to his mama. You see, all of life is not so different, friends. It's just the journey that is different. A lot of people want to stay home where they're protected, or where parents are protected. But in protecting them that way, they're not allowing them to see the world and be challenged. And when that parent is no longer there, they don't know where to go to. There is a thing called overprotection. And if your ministers cannot tell you that, they're not being very good ministers, are they? Jesus calls us to a better way, a newer way. We are encouraged to try again and again to pick ourselves up, to dash ourselves off, to try another way, a different path, a difficult path, not an easy path. For our own journey is different. It can be blessed. It can be difficult. It's hard to overcome and accomplish, and accomplish great things by one's belief and persistence. We read, we're educated by good, sometimes great teachers. We find ourselves at times, forgetting the lessons that we're taught in Sunday school or kindergarten. I bet if I asked each one of y'all to come up to me and speak to me before you leave today, to give me the name of your kindergarten teacher or your first grade teacher, I bet about nine out of ten of y'all would recall her name.
because they were so important to you. And they were so caring about you and had so much hope for you. Your parents had hope and care, but they had to go to work during those years. You were with that teacher for about six hours of the day. One kindergarten teacher, one first grade teacher. Their opinions, their views, their faith, their lessons were important. And our memory etched. All mountains can be overcome. There are passes that you can take if you search for them. Obstacles can be overcome, great and small. Our lives can be cut short. Even the greatest Samson can fall just as quickly as a rock strikes a seven-foot-tall Samson. By a little boy named David, whose brothers gave him away because he had dreams and talked about them too much. Presidents, too, leaders, captains of industry, they have thoughts and they have feelings. Some think they were inadequate, men, women, all leaders. Yet we learn from my mom. We learn from my auntie and our uncles and our grandmothers. Some of the hardest lessons in life we tend to forget about them and go on with our lives until late in our lives we recall that. But so much time has passed. No human is perfect. But try your best to show kindness and still discipline. <clears throat> Family is important. Church is important. Your community is important. Honor your father and mother. Encourage your brothers and sisters. Call those who you have not spoken to in the last year and let them know that they are thought of, loved, and appreciated and share some memory of your life with them. You know, know how important that call may be if you call today after lunch. It is not something to put off for another day. We do not have to see a miracle to believe in one. Did not Jesus say if one only had faith Believe they can overcome anything, any barrier, any mountain. And yet, my friend, don't you look and hear and still not believe? Humans all can be tempted. Evil tempts each and every one of us. Every day, in some way, fashion, our own abilities. Some people wanting to find themselves, to move off and do things, forget about anyone but themselves. There's a recurring theme when the people of Israel were tempted before great trouble. And that was that the people of God decided they wanted to do what was good in their own eyes. Remember that phrase. Friends, let that not come about in your life and those that you care about. Whatever form your own personal adventure takes, there will be obstacles to overcome, yet each of us can overcome, learn, and grow from life's hard lessons, opportunities to excel, faith to grow, encouragement one and another, It's all a process in life. Is it not, my friends? Learning, growing, questions. Just like you learned in kindergarten in the first grade. Can I get an amen in the house? Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The sermon has ended. Let us continue where the elders can...